I wanted to bring a forest to the city. And I think I managed to do that. Pico Finland is replacing Finlandia Hall during its renovation. I was afraid uh, what would be the feedback. But it has been really good and it must be the trees. They are load-bearing structure holding the beams. I was one of the architects choosing all the trees. And we went on a forest to choose 120 trees uh, which were then fell down and we chose out of those 95 to be used here the trees that ha has big showy branches. They were pressure washed to remove the bark. Then they were transported to the factory. I drew every tree, a kind of diagram that how many branches there are and uh, which direction branches are going. And then I placed them to the plan. The whole building is reusable and uh, all the materials uh, can be recycled. It's made up from modules which can be transported to the next place after it's not anymore used here. It will be changed to a school or kindergarten. It's not a contemporary way of building. So normally nowadays uh, you fell a tree and you take it to the sawmill, you glue it. But I wanted to take that step away, like we can use the tree as it is. If you take to the sawmill and cut it, then the branches are a problem. They are the weakest point of that, that whole timber product. But if you don't cut it, it's actually the strongest point of that whole tree. I think we've lost some of that in, in mass production, but we could bring that knowledge back. You might think that these trees are all the same. They are all Scots pines from almost the same forest. But you start to know this, the individuality of each trees and that makes them almost human. The fact that I started studying architecture, the way that I see or think or feel the places has somehow changed. And I feel that I found uh, again a child from me. I feel free to imagine things. Now I can see that they, they, they can come true. <laughs>